Hello once again YouTubers and welcome to another video. Now as you can see here I've purchased another old computer on eBay. This time this is the Commodore 16 or C16 as a lot of people like to call it. Now I bought this for £40 on eBay and with it I had a load of games, a number of books and a data set. And this, I actually had a couple of days afterwards, is the joystick. Which is the same, which is like the one that this person shown off his Commodore Plus 4 has got. Now for this um, demonstration, I'm going to show you a game load-in for this clip. And the one I'm going to show you is one thing a lot of people who had a Plus 4 would have had. And here it is, Mr. Puniverse. I know there's been clips of this up on YouTube, but this you're going to see now is the game loading. Oh, there's the loading screen. Well, the typing screen. And there's the data set ready to operate. So let's put and this tape the machine, rewind it. Right. So, oh, sorry. <laughs> right. So let's um go ahead and type. Load. Right. Right, let's press play and now the screen blanks. So if I get the camera closer, now don't forget if you like this clip and some of my other clips here on YouTube, just hit the subscribe button at the bottom. I've had a clip, I did have somebody criticize about me putting the clip of the Comba 64 up saying it'd be cheaper to get an emulator I know emulators are popping up everywhere but the real computer itself has the more original sound like with just emulators it's just um, it's not the same as a SID chip I just want to There we go. The raster bars are up now. Ah! Wait a sec, I just press the button. Oh no, it's automatically done it. Now you notice the raster bar colour it, loading bars, are diff slightly different colour to the ones on the Commodore 64. Although some of the COM64 raster bar colours appear. Now once this is loaded, it, unfortunately I won't be able to show you gameplay from it because there's poison gameplay already on eBay, on here on YouTube. And it's loaded. Right. Right, so it's loaded now. Right. 
I'll be back with you shortly to show you a cl collection of some of the games that I you got. Right, see you shortly. Hello, I'm back. Right, I'm going to show you now the games that I received with the COM to 16. It's in this box, but I'll show you them one at a time. Right, there's one Mr. Puniverse, as you all know, which you just seen the loading of. Next is Tutti Fruity, which is a game I actually played back in the 1980s. Because a person who I was, a, who was a friend of mine, had a Commodore Plus 4, and I played this on that. Then at Christmas 1987, I received the Commodore Plus 4, and it was about a few a couple of months after that I got this game, and I really enjoyed playing. But there's another game on the other side of this, and it's called, of course, Finders Keepers, which of course has nothing to do with the game show presented by Neil Buchanan that aired on ITV years ago. So when you play this game, you won't be reading rooms or stuff. It's sort of a quest sort of game. There's that one. Next, Pod, which is a grid star shoot 'em up. We go shoot all the aliens and and stop them from getting you. This I did have originally when I had the plus four. Right, Battle, which is a strategy game where you go basically blow up all the ships, submarines and boats. And things. Right. Right, Vegas Jackpot, which is, um, of course, a game 